All right, first video for the Gates family rabbitry here. Just gonna do a rundown of our setup and kind of what we got going on here. We got three males and two females at the moment. That's that was our first buck there, Jack. He did not successfully. Nothing happened with, with these two does here. So we bought this guy. This is Twister. He is a California. And then we bought Red. He's over there. He's in New Zealand. I'll take you over and show you him in a minute. But so Twister and S'mores here had seven. She actually had eight. But one of them was stomped on in the nest box. So that happens sometimes. I actually gave her made her a double wide nest box. This isn't it. This is a box you give them once they're over two weeks. Some of these guys have had nest eye too. I'm going to make a video on that and show you, give you some different uh, pointers on how you can get rid of that and possibly even prevent it from happening in the first place. You ready to go, my, or stay in, Jack? Come on, in or out? Staying in? You look hesitant. All right. So this is April. Oh, hold on. Oh, sorry, April. Just splashed water on you. You can see April is a very dedicated mother. She tore a big chunk of her fur out because they tear fur out and put it in the nest. And he's very uh, curious. Get out of here, Jack. So she's got four in here. Ah! The first litter was born December 8th. I don't know if I mentioned that. So those guys over there, the first litter I showed you, they're almost a month. And then these guys were born December 27th. So they're still a little young. Oh, jumper. Scare you. Scared me. <laughs> okay, go back in there. It's not eating time yet. Ah! So once, this, once these guys are two weeks, I'll clean that box out, and then you just turn it on its side. And then they can kind of start roam, roaming around and still have a little hidey hole to go into. These ones here are, were born the November 4th, <laughs> sorry, to April. It was her first litter. She had three whites and one black, and this time she had two blacks and two whites. But I just marked that one in the back with a blue Sharpie. He, that's our the buck, and then there's a doe in there too. There, yeah, she's hiding somewhere. Oh. The thing here they're in is a tractor, that's what they call it. Yeah, it's a nice spot for the babies to grow out. And it gives them like space to run around and whatnot. So, but we are going to keep this doe too and breed her as well. And then hopefully keep that black and white one, one of the ones out of the litter I showed you over there. And then we'll have four does and two bucks. <clears throat> this is the other buck. Ugh, it's red. And he's very friendly. Bucks are very friendly. For pets, I recommend box because they're just less grouchy. <laughs> the does are generally grouchy and protective of their nest. They seem to be more friendly though when they have babies, which is interesting. She, like April would nip at you and stuff at first, which you stuck your hand near, but she's very friendly now when she has babies. So, just a quick rundown of the setup we got going on here. Uh, these guys will be in here for about another month. I'll let them go to like 12 weeks and then the female will probably go into this cage and then the buck will probably be processed. And we'll do a processing video. We'll do a nest eye video. I'll just, any little th things I can think of that can help you out in the process. I'll try to make a video about it. And then we're gonna do some other things around here. We'll do a gardening video. 
garden's kind of dead right now because it's the middle of winter. But there's a lot of different things you can do just in your own backyard to be self-sufficient. Make sure you got things like water, food, just stuff like that that you hope you never need, you know, to be completely sufficient off of what you grow in your backyard, but it's nice to, you got to have something. You got to have the know-how to do these type of things to, you know, process animals if you have to, or to filter your own water or collect water, different things. So that's what the point of this channel. We're going to try and give you guys some tips on just things you can do, like I said, in your own backyard that'll lighten the load and you can sleep a little easier knowing that you got a second plan. <laughs> so, thanks. Uh, share this video, subscribe, and there will be more to come. Thank you.